This next hand is from a Windy City Poker Championships cash game event held in Florida. We'll be listening to this player, Rick Rahim. Cool. Nice. Nice. This might be the best pot yet. Well, Paul doesn't take the bait. He just calls. I guess I have to continuation bet, right? Isn't that chapter one? <clears throat> Raise the guy who's trying to steal, and then I have to see bet to make him believe it. Certainly going to see some action here. As expected, Rick bets makes it eighty-five hundred dollars. <laughs> you told me that. Hey, you pay me, pay me. I win that bet, right? She did. I win that bet. If you shove, I'll call you. You got me, sir. I'll go home, eat a steak, get up, go back to the airport. Set of sixes is the nuts. Do you think he bought the whole C bet speech? Looks like he's contemplating. Nice. Wow. He really hit a set? Paul's going to raise the 17,000. See, this is where Rick's table talk and playing any two cards really pays off for him. Of course, in this hand, he's going to split. But normally, this is the type of hand that he would get paid off on. He's sick if he's sick if he's got a set of sixes. Well, I didn't bet it to fold and get bluffed. I'm all in. I don't know what I'm thinking. I bet that much. Why the f are wasting everyone's time? Excuse my. And language. we have our first all in of the broadcast. I mean, why on earth? Rick shoves for thirty six thousand four hundred dollars. I guarantee, if you fold, I'm going to show the bluff and I'm going to you off. While Raheem talks a lot here, much of his language before he shoves was quite neutral and non-goading. But when Paul doesn't call immediately, Raheem realizes it's unlikely he's losing the hand, and his language becomes aggressive and goading. It's just begging me to call. Or the other thing. I read the Book of Tales. I'm looking in the eye and talking a lot. I'm implying that I got it. Of course, it could be reverse psychology. Reverse? Reverse? I don't know. Mike Caro, the, 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 what do they call it? The, the, the maniac? The, uh, what's he called? Mad, the mad, mad genius. genius. Well, I'm, I'm far from a genius, but I am that other thing. Paul says, just begging me to call. Just like in the first hand we looked at, Paul is aware, as many people are, that goading tends to indicate strength. Interesting also that when Paul points this out, Rahim immediately says that his own behavior could be reverse psychology, and that he isn't necessarily a mad genius, but he is mad. These are basically weak hand statements. Rahim is essentially saying, no, I'm not necessarily goading you because I've got a strong hand. I might have a weak hand. A player with a weak hand here would be unlikely to raise such an idea. He would be silent and be happy to allow his opponent to continue thinking he had a strong hand. I thought they could take the heat in Florida, Robo. I thought they were used to the heat down here. Right? This is Florida. I thought they were used to the heat. Come on, send me home, put me out of my misery, let me call the wife, tell her I'll be home early. It's okay. Call. You deserve it. Another goading statement here. I thought they could take the heat in Florida. 